we are looking at Android 3.0 on the Samsung Galaxy 10.1. The tablet version of Android is quite similar to the mobile version in that it has different home screens which you swipe left and right to access. However, there are lots of differences. In the bottom left hand corner are the three main navigation buttons. There is one to go back, one to go home and a window button for switching between different applications. Adding applications and widgets to the home screens is very easy. You can either drag icons or widgets directly to the home screen you want, or tap icons to add them really quickly. Tapping in the bottom right of the screen where the clock is brings up the notifications window where you can quickly access things like music controls and go to your email. You can also switch the Wi-Fi on and off and adjust the screen brightness. On every home screen in the top left is the Google search bar. Enter a search term and the web browser is launched automatically. You can also search using voice recognition, where the keyboard works perfectly OK. Just like the Google Chrome PC browser, the web browser in Android 3.0 features tabs so you can open separate websites and switch between them very quickly. The gallery app brings together all your photos and videos. You can quickly swipe between photos or pinch to zoom in and out. Videos play very smoothly and you can seek backwards and forwards without any delay. Most Google tablets feature a dual core processor so it can handle HD video without any problems. The music app heavily relies on album art so if you don't have album art on your music then you may find the interface looks rather sparse. There are several different views in the music app. For example, the new and recent view shows album art in a cover flow style just like in iTunes with 3D effects so you can swipe backwards and forwards. The artists and album views show music in a simple grid, while the songs view shows music in a list without any album art. One very useful feature of the music app is the search function. This means you can search for any music title or album or artist and instantly get the music you want. Android 3.0 has its own custom YouTube app and it's very slick. Videos play smoothly and can be full screened. You can even adjust the video quality if the connection you're using is too slow. Overall, Android 3.0 is a massive improvement on previous versions of Android on tablets. The interface feels like it's properly designed for tablets now and has a more PC-like interface compared to the iPad. The first Android 3.0 tablet to come to the UK will be the Motorola Zoom and we'll be bringing you a full first look and test lab results as soon as we can. For more on Android 3.0, the Apple iPad or any other tablet, visit witch.co.uk forward slash technology.